Hi folks, Max from GalaxyNote2.com for this week's Verizon Galaxy Note 2 ROM of the week. Check out Nebula ROM. Uh, I really love this ROM on the Verizon Galaxy Note 2. Um, now this is based on Android 4.3, uh, but it has a bunch of um, 4.4.2 KitKat features. As you can see, you've got the, um, the KitKat settings here. Now the first thing you should do when you install this ROM, do not pull out your S Pen. Don't do anything after you install the ROM. First thing you should do, go, uh, go into settings. Now it's going to look like this. Make sure you hit go to settings and hit menu and go to switch tab view. Uh, and then go to controls and make sure you enable air command and air view if you want to use it. Uh, if you don't do that, um, it will default back to the single menu and you won't be able to access the tab menu. Um, then you'll have to do a factory reset and redo it. But once you've done that, you should be all ready to go. Um, this ROM comes with a ton of S Note stuff, uh, Note 3 stuff, uh, like the S Note, Note 3 S Note app, uh, and a bunch of uh, stuff you can see Action Memo, um, Group Play, S Translate, S Health, a bunch of Note 3 stuff. So you'll be able to enjoy uh, the best of Note 3 features on your Verizon Note 2. And also, you got Air Command, um, you can do uh, floating pen windows, uh, you know, multitask between a bunch of apps, and you can also add uh, all of your favorite apps onto your pen window and your multi window. Um, there's even a quad multi window. I'll show you all of that here in a second. Um, and uh, also, it does come with pop up browser and uh, locked, unlocked hotspot out of the box for those of you wondering, of course. Um, and uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the features. If you go into device here, you'll find custom apps. Uh, you'll find battery calibration. If you want to calibrate your battery, SMS pop-up, it'll pop up your SMS messages. Uh, Google keyboard themes. There you go. A bunch of stuff you can do. Um, some interesting stuff. Multi-window apps manager. You can go ahead and add all of your favorite apps. Um, also, pen window apps manager, same thing with the pen window. Now, there's also an option where you can enable all of your all of your apps uh, without even doing this, uh, which is really nice. And also, a bunch of uh, exposed uh, modules here um, to use these. Any of these modules, make sure you go to the framework, hit install update, make sure you hit grant, um, and uh, don't reboot yet. Go ahead and go to modules and enable any of these modules you want to use. Uh, if you don't know what these are, go ahead and try one by one. Um, after you enable any of these, you can go ahead and reboot and you'll be able to use uh, these modules. Also, I have, do have a full tutorial guide for exposed app settings. Check that out. And you can also access all the menus uh, for the modules there. And let's go into the next part of this ROM, which is the ROM control, which allows you to fully customize your ROM. This ROM does come with a DSP manager, uh, which is nice. Um, that's going to give you basic uh, equalizing functionality. Now, if you want to go ahead and further, go ahead and get Viper for Android, which is my favorite uh, app, and also uh, music control when your screen's off. You can go ahead and set those ear protect. Um, some nice stuff there. Um, if you go to general, you'll be able to um, change the long press to Google Now, of course, and uh, you can set menu back or uh, menu or back key as app uh, kill button. So you're in on your browser. Um, you can go ahead and hold down the menu button to kill any apps. This can be very useful. There's some um, some weird apps sometimes that freezes. That's going to give you um, a faster way to fix that. Also, let me go ahead and show you um, keyboard here. Um, just a little option there. And launcher. Um, you can have scrollable wallpaper, infinite scroll, um, home on home screen. Uh, up swipe target this is kind of nice um, so you can go ahead and swipe up swipe up there we go Google now uh, yes I'm in um, so very nice stuff and I've now it's my wallpaper is obviously scrolling because I enable that and let's go into some other stuff uh, lock screen you can go ahead and enable um, AOSP lock screen um, and uh, long 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 press home uh, to turn on flashlight uh, which I really like. Uh, this is one of my features of uh, custom ROMs. There we go. And it should turn off. There we go. Custom ink effects, um, multi pen window. Now, if you want to just have all apps in your multi window or pen window, you can go ahead and enable that. And now it should give me all my apps here uh, when I do this. Come on. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I got confused there. So now I have all of my apps hidden here. So that makes it easier. I actually like that more than using the multi-window manager app or the S Pen window manager app. I'm sure you do too. Um, that way you can just grab uh, any of your favorite apps. This is really cool right here. You're gonna have floating stock, floating plus stock, floating plus quad, floating plus stock plus quad. So that's really, really cool. Let's check that out real quick. Now, there is a bunch of different ones. I highly suggest using uh, floating plus quad or pl uh, floating plus stock uh, at once. Let's actually try uh, just floating first and then we'll try all the other ones. So go ahead and open up your multi-window and go ahead and open up a couple apps. Now you should have a floating window, obviously. Let me take my pen out here and you should be able to resize them uh, easily there. And let's go ahead and try opening a couple apps. Um, there we go. So you got floating windows and oops. Let me go ahead and put my files there. Let me go ahead and close all these up. Um, and let me go ahead and show you the other, uh, the other, the other feature here. Uh, that, so that's floating. Let's try uh, floating plus quad. Um, so now um, you will have this one here, and I think you have to make this large, and then you'll be able to use it as there we go, multi window, full multi window there. Uh, let me get my my files my files there, um, and let me get my video player there, and now you'll be able to do quad, and it works actually quite well, and uh, you know. You can you can even do that and a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, so a very nice set of multi-window stuff you can do. And let's go back to ROM control here. Um, let me go ahead and show you some of the other cool stuff um, you can do. Uh, for phone, uh, you can enable call recording. All right, auto call recording. And there is also call recording on this ROM. Um, and MMS, uh, some additional options there power, screen off, a status bar, you'll be able to customize your toggle colors, text colors, um, change the clock position if you want to the center, days of the week, um, if you wanna see that, uh, signal options, uh, strength bars, um, whoops, that hides it, sorry, and a bunch of stuff. So very nice stuff, ROM control settings. And uh, I really like it, it is got a ton of features, um, nice and fast and also very good to um, uh, great battery life so definitely check it out also flash player on board uh, very nice ROM and yeah do check it out for this week's Verizon Galaxy Note 2 ROM of the week and you'll be able to enjoy the best of Note 3 uh, stuff along with the latest multi uh, window uh, brought to you by the developers and my favorite is enabling all of the apps on the multi window and pen window and I think you know more ROM developers sh should do this um, to, because it makes more sense than trying to you know use that other app and then just put one by one. I don't. I like it just having all of them there, and I can just easily find it and put it into my multi window, pen window, uh, whatever. Anyway, check it out for this week's round of the week, and do let me know what you think. As always, if you have a note two, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxynote2root.com, and I will see you guys soon. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.